Hello, hello. Uh, it's Kasim here with Solutions 8. And uh, as promised, I'm going to be doing some live website reviews. It's noon um, Pacific. So uh, go ahead and drop your websites here. And uh, I'll be doing some live reviews uh, for anybody that wants them. Uh, I was going to go through the challenge and maybe start tracking down some of the websites that we've got, but I don't want to. I don't want to begin a critique on anybody who's not volunteered their website. I feel like that might be a breach of etiquette. So instead of me picking random sites uh, from our member base, I'd rather members volunteer uh, because I just feel like that's a. It's a safer place for me to land. So, Andy, I see Andy's here. Thanks so much for watching, man. I, I'm pretty sure I already gave you the CRO Rex, but if you want me to do it again, um, happy to do that. Uh, I've got one from Adam too. Adam, you were first, so uh, let's start with yours. Um, and just incidentally, if I say anything that offends or oversteps, uh, ignore me. It's your site. It's your business. Um, you know, these are, are still recommendations based off of my experience, but. Um, you know, you're the one that has to live with it. So, uh, looking at Adam's site, right out of the gate, I really like the brand that you have here. That's one of the first things that I look for. And the reason I look at brand is because uh, anytime you're dealing with um, smart shopping campaigns specifically, there's a massive amount of display based advertising and um, brand building. So, what you will find, and this is true for almost all of our case studies, as a matter of fact, let me pull up one of my case studies so I can show you what I mean. What you'll find is when you start running smart shopping, your brand awareness goes through the roof. So here's one of the case studies that I use often. This is a client, uh, you can see a four month time frame uh, before we were running smart shopping compared to after we were running smart shopping. But what's really interesting is they had a 1200% ROAS here and that's not including their brand campaign. They had 500,000 impressions. So their brand was seen 500,000 times and the brand campaign increased by 12 grand uh, over and above everything that I'm showing here. And um, the reason for that is is because with smart shopping, you're pushing a massive amount of traffic um, towards your brand. People are seeing your logo, they're seeing your brand name, they're seeing your URL, they're seeing your colors. And so if you have a really strong, really distinctive brand, it works in your favor. Um, if you've got a real generic brand, then you're not really making the imp imprint that you want to make. So really well done here, uh, Adam. I'd say well done with the brand. I really like the logo. Um, one thing, this isn't, this isn't critical, but one thing that you might do just from a brand awareness standpoint is um, give yourself the opportunity to have a logo that has the full URL in it. You don't have to do it on your website, obviously it's a little redundant, but if you did push out display-based advertising uh, and people were to see clear health support, then you know because the brand name is a little bit more generic, um, you don't want people just going to the Google machine and typing in clear. Uh, so mild, mild note there, nothing big. Um, so you've got your GDPR slash California tag on. That's great. Uh, love the way that you're using this real estate. So one of the mistakes that a lot of people make is they try to put too much in the offer section. And this, I'm just going to call this the, the, the free shipping banner because this is what most people are, are doing. And I think what people tend to want to see. Because Amazon has spoiled the whole wide world, um, people seek out free shipping. And I've found anecdotally that not having free shipping or, or some threshold that allows for free shipping can be a repellent. So I think what you've got here is great. I actually like that I can close it and, and kind of clean up my real estate. And you'll, you'll notice that people do that a lot. Um, nice hero image here. People are making eye contact. That seems like a benign thing, but it's really important. There's a dopamine receptor that fires every single time somebody makes eye contact with you. So there's two trillion years of evolution here at play that you're using. Um, and and uh, you'll notice that if you walk through a shopping mall, for instance, every single human being on every single poster and billboard is making eye contact and they, they almost appear to follow you. And there's a reason for that. There's billions of years worth of, or billions of dollars worth of marketing dollars invested in figuring out what it is that makes people buy. And we like see, make, seeing uh, people make eye contact with us. You're also using one of the best avatars to use. From a visual perspective, the highest performing uh, human avatar in advertising existence across all cultures, brands, mediums, is a 30-year-old female brunette who's attractive and smiling. Uh, excuse me, 30-year-old female Caucasian brunette who's attractive and smiling. Now, that might be offensive to hear, but it just happens to be a data-driven truth. So if you're ever 
in doubt and you just want to make sure you're using kind of a generic image for whatever reason humanity has decided that that's the human that, that is you know least offensive and most appealing to all of us I like that we've got a family here this language is a little tough to see um, what you might want to do is just give yourself a drop shadow um, behind your text and uh, give people the opportunity to really see what it is you're driving at. I love that you have the, the product here in the foreground, um, but over here is your primary call to action and, and you know the buy now button gets a little bit lost, so I'd encourage you to maybe make this a little bit more uh, apparent. We've also got a Facebook click ID being automatically appended to your URLs, which I see often. Uh, if this happens, it's going to interrupt your tracking, so you're going to want to figure out what's going on there. Because um, I tried to, did I cleanse this when I opened it? No, you know what happened, it came in from chat. Ignore me, um, Facebook's adding that. Um, and the reason I brought that up, by the way, is, is uh, uh, every now and again, depending on the way that the URLs are visited, you'll see some, some automatic appendments, and I wanted to make sure that wasn't the case. Um, something called banner blindness for scrolling banners, but this actually isn't a scrolling banner. What is it doing? It's just refreshing. I'd kill the banner wings here. Um, if it's not going to do anything, that's just, you know, maybe mildly frustrating. Um, I'm going to click on buy now in just a moment, scrolling down. Uh, I like where you're going just in terms of the value proposition. So starting to explain immune support. I might bring that immune support up here. So maintain your healthiest self. That could be anything. You know, this could be a treadmill or a Nordic track or uh, a bottle of wine. So it, 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 it's going to be, I, I realize it's right here on the bottle, but um, this is where I'm going to go for the information. So, you know, follow Donald Miller's story brand and start talking about, you know, be really clear as to who this is for and what it is that you're providing. But you got a good um, primary call to action there, so keep that up. Um, product call to action, social proof here, it looks like, from your Instagram feed. Uh, I like this sweep here. So everybody knows anytime you have a big ver visual line of demarcation, there's actually a mental sweep that happens where I, I almost feel like I'm on a brand new page. Um, you're going to have a tough time advertising via Google, just FYI, because we're making some health claims. So Google's not going to like all this language. It's not insurmountable. We're going to be able to get over it. Um, but just know that uh, it's your money and your life. Anything that in, you know, infers that we can make you money or, or make you healthier, Google's going to have, have some issues. Google and Facebook both. So expect some compliance problems, um, but we'll be able to hurdle them. Um, it's just a matter of you know, changing things. Uh, love the money back guarantee, your hurdling objections, that's phenomenal. I'd like to see a little bit more social proof at this point. So, you know, we've got people holding the bottles, that's great. What do they say about it? Um, you know, let's get some, some testimonials overlaid. Um, or, you know, I mean, folks talking about how it makes them feel. Really like this graphic and this visual. I have to imagine this is uh, mobile responsive too. This looks like it's being, yeah, mobile first paradigm. Um, yeah, well done. Well done with the, the mobile approach. That's going to be a critical prerequisite, by the way. About 60% of your traffic is going to be mobile-based. Um, here we go. Social proof and testimonials. You don't want just one testimonial section, though. You kind of want social proof sprinkled throughout. This needs to be much, much, much stronger. Nobody wants news. No, I mean, people really don't want news about you know immune support supplements. Um, you got to give them something. And the, it can be a lead magnet that's relevant to your, um, your product. You can offer a coupon, which is what a lot of e-commerce stores do, but give them a reason to subscribe. Um, you know, I mean, sign up for, for updates when we release a new whatever, if you have an additional SKU coming. Um, that's gonna be another problem that you run into, is this looks like a single SKU store. And uh, anytime we're driving traffic to a single SKU store, we're at a disadvantage because Google likes to spread traffic out across multiple SKUs. If we've only got one SKU, then you don't get as many at bats, and Google doesn't have the same opportunity to kind of um, learn to trust you. Let's say, uh, why can't I get back there? I don't know what I did wrong with this thumbnail, man. But as I'm trying to scroll through your thumbnails, I've lost them. Um, really, really mild thing, but the fact that you've got this bottle and and these are you know uh, superimposed. Um, there's something about using stock photos that have been photo manipulated that makes me lose trust in the product. Uh, what I would do is with each one of these images, I would change the position of the bottle a little bit so it actually looks like a real picture. Uh, again, real small thing. You need a way more 
robust title. Google Smart Shopping and, and you know most PPC uh, networks are going to use your title in order to determine the relevance of your product to what somebody's searching for or looking for. And so we want, um, you know, you can put uh, value proposition features and benefits inside of the title. You'll see this in Amazon a lot. Uh, Amazon sellers have gotten so good at figuring out how to play the title game because Amazon prioritizes the title the same way that Google used to prioritize the H1 tag back in the old SEO days. But really robust title, um, and then we need a really robust description. Looks like you've done okay here, but you know, I've noticed uh, when I was on the homepage, uh, you said some stuff. Where did it go? Like non-GMO, was it? Here we go. GMP quality. I don't know what that means, but all of a sudden I trust you now. Like these type of badges are great. Um, we need to say that here. You know, start to add some repetition. Get some more social proof. Um, let's take a look at what happens. If I say add to cart, got a little pop-up. That's great. If I say buy now, it's going to take me to the checkout page. I hope it doesn't pre-populate all my personal information. It's going to get weird. Nope. There we go. Uh, I like that you don't have the coupon code uh, automatically present. It's okay to do that if you play the coupon code game often, but if you don't, leave it alone. Um, otherwise, we're staying on the same URL, which is great. It's going to be a little bit easier for um, tracking purposes. But hold on, I had $21, and now I've got $41, and that's because I've got two. Okay, don't be a dummy, Cosm. Um, this is alright. I, I, we need way more in the way of description here, uh, both for the title and then if there's a way to move the description up a little bit, I think it might be helpful. Um, but I, I don't dislike your checkout procedure. One mistake that a lot of people make is they let the add to cart button take them straight to checkout. For you, that wouldn't be a problem because you only got one product. So I might even kill add to cart and just have buy now. You also want buy now. It's a white button right now. You want it to be this blue overlay or something else. It's called the isolation effect. You want my mind to see this and understand, okay, this is the button that I need to press. Um, adding the wish list is kind of cool. Uh, the About Us page needs to be way more robust. People are, we, we, we live in the age of the intelligent consumer. I'm probably going to say this to every single website that I review today. By the way, if you just joined and you're watching, drop your website in the chat and I'll review yours next. I'm just going to go in order. Uh, Statistically, it takes 3.5 pages before somebody's ready to convert. It also takes 2.5 clicks, and your about page is the second most traffic page on your website. Uh, it's the age of the educated consumer. People want to know who they're buying from. They want mission, vision, values, story, voice, background. Um, and what we've got here is, is generic. It's our and we. You want me and I, if possible. Now, you might not have that person to put in front of them, but if you do, that's great. And if you've got a personal story as to why you developed this and why it's personal to you you know I, I, I've got an autoimmune disorder I have Hashimoto's and so you know I would come out saying uh, I, I, I took me six doctors and a nurse practitioner in five years to be properly diagnosed with an autoimmune disorder that nobody knows how to treat and along my journey I found this particular supplement that was really helpful for me but it wasn't as widely available as I wanted it to be so I decided to take it upon myself etc 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 you see where I'm going here so if there's a personal mission that you have to attach to this, then add it to the about page. And, and you, it's going to be pretty easy for you to find something personal because everybody's got their immune system, everybody has a, a health journey. So just go figure out what that is for you. Um, contact page uh, is fine. You're going to do a lot better if you have an address here. Um, I realize you've got it here in the footer, but something with a map I think lets people know that you're just, you know, you're a real person. Uh, privacy policy, return shipping, these are great for driving traffic. Uh, I'm not seeing any social CTAs, am I? Did I just lie? Yeah, which is okay. You don't have to have social media if you're just not going to use it. I know you've got Instagram, what looked to me to be Instagram fed images. Um, I guess they're not. Maybe I just thought that because of the icon. So I really don't know where these come from. Um, but you're in good shape if you're not going to spend a bunch of time in social channels. You, you will notice that people do click through because, again, the same thing as with your about page. They just want to get to know you. Um, let me know what you think of that feedback, Adam. I'd be interested specifically in anything that you disagree with. Um, my fear for you is just is just low skew count and the industry that you're in. So when we're driving traffic, know that that's the risk that you're going to run into. Um, but I appreciate you being brave and stepping up and let me review your site. Uh, I'm going to go move on to... Uh, my boy Andy now, who have already done your CRO site, uh, I know, so let's take a look at maybe, uh-oh, uh, is that not it? Andy Soap. Come on, Cosm. 
Uh, Andy, drop me your URL again. There's something wrong here with what you gave me instead of chat. It's going to um, a different domain. So when you drop that into chat, I'll, I'll follow up with you. Uh, I'm going to move over to Amar. Amar, I hope I'm saying your, your name correctly, brother. Forgive me if I'm not. Um, kids activist. I already love this URL. Uh, so excited to see what's happening. Now, what you have here is called an interstitial, and you're going to run into a couple of issues here. Google doesn't like, most networks don't like, when you instantly throw up a pop-up in front of it. Um, people also don't like that. Either it feels like a gate, or it feels like a too aggressive ad. So I would kill this interstitial, and if you want to trigger it upon exit intent, you can do that. Um, if you want to wait you know, some time, 30, 60, 90 seconds, you can do that too. Um, but those things tend to be uh, a little bit of a distraction. Um, free exchanges, 399 shipping, free shipping at 50 bucks. You, I think we're trying to say too much here. I would, I would focus, you could maybe have two, like free exchanges and free shipping at $50 over. Um, but the three, now I've got to think about it and I'm, I'm already a little lost. Uh, I also don't find the 399 shipping to be ultra compelling. So I would just say free exchanges and free shipping at 50 bucks. I also wouldn't put that asterisk here unless the asterisk is a really big one. And you know, in which case you're saying, where does it even go? I don't even know what it's applicable to. I can't find where your, you know, the footnote is. So just kill the asterisk and say uh, free exchanges and free shipping at fifty dollars over. Um, kid activist, activism at any age, high quality gear for the young activist. So I can't read this. We need a, a background or, or something that that pulls it off. Uh, I realize that it's not aesthetically pleasing what I'm about to say, but you need the isolation effect here too for the view products. I'm also not entirely sure what it is just yet. Um, and you know, same same advice I gave to, to Adam. We don't want to be cute. We want to be direct. Go watch Don Miller's uh, building a story brand. Phenomenal advice there. But but you know, I realize that we've got gear for young activists. But why is it for activists? Is it because it gives money to nonprofits, um, or it's just the messaging? I guess. Um, so there's a there's a lot here, Amara, that you're going to be able to do a story brand. And for those of you that don't know, I'm not a reseller or an affiliate, but I really love 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 um, story brand. I'll drop this into the chat here. Um, the the reason I like it is because what Don Miller has done is he's taken the oldest form of communication in in, in human narrative history and he's turned it into a marketing mechanism. And the nice thing about it is you actually don't have to pay Don anything because if you go to uh, well, just go YouTube uh, Don Miller's story brand. You can watch the free videos and you can get a sense of it. But given Amar, the, you've got a lot of meat on this bone, thematically speaking, and there's a whole lot that you can say to begin telling your story. Right now, you're not telling a story at all. Um, but I think that you could be, and I hope that wasn't uh, overly aggressive in what I'm telling you. Um, and then we've got uh, previews of our collections. I really like that you're using lifestyle images, by the way. So instead of just having a picture of your t-shirt, what you're doing is you're showing uh, kids using the, the product, which ends up performing far, far, far better, especially for display advertising. I'd like to see maybe a little bit more diversity here. Um, Vote wave, not sure what that is. Quarantine fatigues, make a change is the t-shirt. And then we've got masks. Google right now isn't letting anybody bid on masks, so we're gonna have a tough time with that term, but we'll be able to hopefully uh, kind of dip around it. Um, let's take a look at some of your products. There we go. So, you know, I might prioritize this section and bring that up a little bit higher um, because right now I'm uh, just a little confused as to what you want me to do and what each of these is applicable to. Um, but I really kind of like where we've gone with the icons. And what I would maybe encourage you to do too is uh, either have all of the thumbnails be the lifestyle image first on the preview page or doing every other one so that I know I can hover over and see uh, what else is accessible to me. Um, one blog, if people are actually reading the blog then you can continue to prioritize this but if they're not or if you're not creating enough blogs then I would take it off of the home page because only having one kind of shows you is maybe a little disengaged. Love that we've got the our mission section. This is phenomenal. Really well done. Um, give back for every sale. That's great. Um, Love to know who the organizations are, maybe with some logos here that I would recognize. 
You know, like I give to Kiva, they're my favorite nonprofit. So anytime I ever see anybody with the Kiva logo on their website, I'm instantly sold. You could do a couple of the same things. I bet you some of the nonprofits you're supporting are probably pretty popular and recognizable and would align with, you know, um, the, the, the people that are shopping. Minimize our footprint, be socially responsible, support local businesses. I love all of this. It would be kind of cool if each of these was an icon because there's something about the stock photo lets me know more or less what it is that you're offering, but the icon is kind of a stamp. It's almost like you've branded this mission, you know, like you have your minimize our footprint icon and now we've got like the globe or, you know, a little outline of a footprint or whatever. Um, but there's something about iconography, if I'm using that term correctly or pronouncing it correctly, that um, I, I think sort of stamps more in people's mind and would also stop me from scrolling because if I'm not paying attention this could just be another blog feed for me um, wow dude this is a nine-year-old's vision see that's I want that here holy crap I've been on this site for minutes and I, I don't know that um, nine-year-old's vision to draw the change she wants to see in the world each drawing a sketch with the hope of Oh man, this is, what a great, great, great story. You need to make this front and center. This is readily apparent. Um, and you know, depending on your comfort level, uh, let's meet the nine-year-old. I wanna know potentially who this person is. I realize that that might not be something that's inside the realm of possibility. I can tell you that my wife wouldn't let me do it with my kids. Uh, but there are folks out there that, you know, uh, everybody's comfort level there spans the spectrum. Regardless, this story is amazing. And that needs to be uh, right out and in, in not buried in your footer. Um, that's really impressive. Good for your nine-year-old. Um, newsletter's a little bit better, and I see elsewhere 15% off code for your first purchase. That's okay. Um, at least you're giving them something specific. Uh, let's go take a look at your shopping cart. Now, realize that you know I spend a lot of time on the homepage, but, um, and that's because a lot of our display ads go back to the homepage, but really with, with smart shopping, the traffic goes to products. Um, so wait, let me go back and do what I did. So I want to say view products. Here's my product feed, that's cool. Uh, here are our collections, uh, Vote Wave collection. Um, I don't love the refresh, I don't, I, I don't love this, this um, the real estate is occupied here to a degree that I think is gonna maybe inhibit browsing. You'll see what happened, like I was on all collections and I'm like, okay, let me filter here. And then it refreshes, drives everything down and then gives me another picture. So you might just want to keep them in the shopping feed and make them feel like you're staying from a continuity perspective in about the same place just with the filter applied. Every refresh is gonna, you know, maybe fatigue some of the clickability. Um, I like your discounts, by the way. People provide discounts that are way too steep. From 27 to 24, I believe that, I trust that. But, you know, I mean, I'll see people at like $99 and then drive market down to $24 and now I just don't trust you because Nobody discounts that steeply. Um, product is super cute. Your imagery is super cute. It's obviously custom, um, which is which is great news because Google loves, loves, loves custom imagery. Uh, I'd like to see something that lets me see the texture of the product for clothing specifically. That can be really important. Um, Apple Quarantine Life Kelly Green. That's cute. I really like that. Um, you're going to want a more descriptive title here. We need to know it's a kid's t-shirt. Um, you know, you might want to say something about unisex. Um, more payment options. Why would I want payment options? Is this the finance thing? Let's take a look. Nope, that's just a checkout. Oh, I see. It's the express checkout type. Got it, got it, got it. Um, that's fine. Size change, sizing chart, nice pop up. I like your sizing chart, it doesn't take you to a new page. Uh, would like to see more description. Uh, we need to know materials, size, what's it, you know, like this is, this is okay, but let's get some bullet points so I can, I can go figure out what it is that I'm looking at. Um, and you're also telling a story here uh, with this product. Uh, there, there, you put this story here, like, you know, dive deeper into what's going on, the quarantine life, you know, narrative. Um, and, and let's talk about that, the, 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 the kids, dream again because that's why I'm here. If I'm buying this product for me, it's because I really believe in what it is that you're selling. Keep reminding me of that. Mission, vision, value stuff. Um, I like that you got your related products. Let's add the cart, see what happens. Nice little pop-up, that's great. Check out our view cart. Let me view the cart, just curious. Let's get more related products here. Uh, Shopify is a great little plugin for that. Um, checking out. Express checkout with multiple options. Kill the discount code unless you use it actively. You, I've noticed that this decreases the number of conversions. Um, we're staying on the same URL, which is great for tracking. Uh, 
build up the about page just a little bit more. I realize I was just there. What is a lookbook? Oh, it's our gallery. Okay. I, I, maybe if lookbook is a term that everybody uses and I'm just not aware of it, then keep it. But if it's not, I might just say gallery um, just so people can see see what's going on. Um, and, you, you know, I mean, mom and dad are your, your primary customer, and I'm a dad, and I see all the kids, and they remind me of my kids, and so I get a big kick out of this. So that could end up being a pretty high-traffic facet of your site. Um, I really like what you've done here. I love your brand, uh, love the approach, love the narrative. You've done a phenomenal job. I, I would just make it more readily apparent, you know, what it is, who's doing what. Uh, I also like that you're branding your own hashtag. That's really cool. Uh, interested in your feedback there, Amar, if you think uh, – you know, this was helpful, and anything you disagree with specific, I'd love to hear. Great job. Uh, let's hop over to Darius Brown. Darius, uh, what in the world? Facebook, come on. Stop being annoying. Here we go. Uh, I just want to see what happens. Okay. Uh, we've got Res Blue Arena. Um, from a branding perspective, this might be a tough brand to push because anytime you have anything that is perpetually dark background, you'll notice that those the darker background tends to be associated with kind of seedier sites. So one thing to think about is would somebody who had this pulled up in a cubicle be embarrassed if a friend or a coworker walked by? And if somebody's not looking and they see a dark back dark background, uh, those those tend to be the not safe for work sites. So. Uh, I ask clients to stay away from dark backgrounds. Uh, we're also all acclimated to reading black text against a white background. That's just the way the internet works right now. And um, some of your colors here, you know, the blue text on the black background, I don't know about other people's eyes, but I actually have a hard time reading this um, without the hover. So I'd go clean up the theme a little bit, make it a little bit, I mean, it looks, you know, cool, the, the color scheme that you've chosen, but I just don't know if it'll perform quite as well. Um, so I'd choose a different theme. Um, there we go. I'd also, ready for battle and virtual reality. Take gaming to the next level of VR. Res Blue Arena. Got it. So help me understand what's going on here, Darius. This is the real business is the arena, and within the arena we've got our shop, if that's correct. Um, and within the shop, we've got our gallery of products. The other issue you're going to have that will be fixed if you have a white background is the, the fact that these product thumbnails right now kind of stick out like a sore thumb. You can sort of tell if this is a template. And the white background, they might, they might uh, blend in just a little bit better. Um, let's take a look at one of your products. Uh, virtual reality, blue robot, short sleeve, unisex t-shirt. This is a good title. Uh, well done. So for everybody else who was saying, hey, go get a more robust title, this is kind of what I'm talking about. You want to get a lot in there because Lord Google is going to go figure out who you're applicable for based on the title. Um, zooming in is, is fine, but it's jarring when you take me out of my browsing experience. So you'll notice that some sites allow you to zoom in, but the overlay keeps me on the, the site, which might be preferable. Um, I like that you have some lifestyle shots. That's great. Uh, anytime I can tell that the image has been photoshopped, again, you lose a little bit of trust. So maybe just find a way to move the shirt so it looks like I'm, I'm still looking at an image of the shirt, um, you know, a new shirt. Uh, good description, could be a little bit more robust, but you know, good enough, I'd say. Uh, what happens when I add to cart? Uh, nice. I like the slide in. Let's go view our cart, see if there are recommendations. Um, this iframe might hurt you just a little bit. Why is it iframed? What happens when I check out? Yeah, it's going to bring me, there we go. At least we're on the same URL from tracking purposes. Um, help me understand why this is built the way that it is. Oh, you know what it is? The whole damn thing is iframed, isn't it? Oh, I got it. So this is your site, and this is, I imagine, Shopify. Let's take a look. Yeah, so we've got a Wix site, and is this a Wix shopping cart? Um, just cards on the table, the, the training that we're going to be putting everybody through is a Shopify training, and it's based off of the fact that Shopify has automatic conversion tracking installation, so um, you'll still get a ton of value out of it, but it, it's not going to follow along quite as well, just, just, just so you know. Not batting you away at all, but if that, for whatever reason, doesn't appeal to you, let me know and we'll, we'll give you a full refund. Um, 
but I, I see what's going on here now. Uh, I've not dealt with the Wix shopping cart recently, so um, I might withhold some of my judgment. But let me know, uh, uh, Darius, what you think about my feedback and if you agree or disagree. Um, You've also got a, a lower skew count, which is, you know, not a big deal. Nothing to discourage you, but you know, it's it's something that we'll have to figure out whether or not Google's going to play nicely with it. Um, my experience with clothing brands is it's very hit or miss. You know, people either love it or hate it, and um, we we just have to see how people respond to your products. Um, thanks for sharing, though. I really appreciate you being brave. Um, Vanessa, moving on to you. Let's take a look at your site. Uh, I'm sure I'm going to mispronounce this, but it looks like we've got Siobhan. Uh, Siobhan store. Okay. Love your logo. This is great. I mean, this is, you know, that's a heavy brand there. You can put some real money behind the brand. Um, and this is something to where if I Google it, I'm sure I'm going to find you. So really well done with your branding. Great, great job. Kill the interstitial. Same thing that I was, I was telling somebody earlier. I think it was uh, Amar. Um, this pop-up is going to, is going to hurt you from a quality score perspective. It's also, nobody wants a pop-up right away. I don't want to join anything until I know who you are. So I'd kill that interstitial for now. You've got a lot of real estate swallowed up by your header. Um, not a huge, wow, I really like that focus feature. That's cool. Um, well done there too. Uh, spend $65 for free shipping. You might say free shipping over 65 bucks just because I think that's kind of the standard um, formatting from a narrative standpoint. Um, mild thing, but you're doing a great job using this real estate. I like your brand, I like the colors. I don't like this flashy back and forth. This is a little web 2.0 for me. Um, and I also think that you might see something of a repellent effect from folks. Uh, I would pick one of these two um, and and just stick with it because the back and forth is, you know, it's a, it's a little too Vegas. Um, I, I do like the products though. And I mean, what you have here from a brandable perspective, I like that everything that I'm seeing is yellow. There's kind of like a visual onomatopoeia. Um, with every purchase we give back to orphan children and poor children in need in third world countries, that's great. Uh, you know, mission, vision, value stuff. You dive right in your catalog, which is awesome. Well done. Uh, some people in e-commerce, they take, you know, there's so much preamble when it comes to getting to the products. And you got straight to your products, which is great. These don't look like stock photos to me. They look like they're actually your photos and your products. If that's true, really well done. If it's not true, then whoever's, you know, we're, we're drop shipping is, is treating you well because these are, um, these are very well done. Um, I also like that you're maintaining consistency with the model that you're using. Um, it, what's nice about that is it, what you'll find happening is oftentimes people begin comparing the girl instead of comparing the clothes. Well, if it's the same girl, then I can now move to comparing the clothes. Um, so, you know, mild note for anybody, especially in clothing, especially when you're using women, um, the, the sad truth of, you know, the sexist reality of our, of our patriarchal society, if you want me to, to articulate it that way, is... Uh, and this is true for both men and women, but we tend to judge um, and, and you want to decrease the number of things that people are judging. And by using the same model, it lets me now stop judging her and start judging the clothing. Hopefully I didn't just offend everybody wildly there. Um, you might get a little bit of pushback on this particular uh, visual. Um, Google is sensitive and likes PG. This, you know, is probably still PG, but begins approaching PG-13. Um, love your lifestyle images, love your product, uh, really unique. Um, I think you're doing a, a great job too with um, the, the photos. Uh, jumping into jewelry, face masks are going to throw a flag, just FYI, we're not going to be able to run ads for that. Um, and I like that this continues flowing. So my note for everybody else, check out what, what, what's happened here with Vanessa's store. Uh, every time I reach a new category, it's kind of like a, a psychological refresh. And what I like about long form landing pages is people get lost in them. You know, like I'm having fun looking through these products and you know, if I'm a gal shopping for myself or if I'm shopping for my wife or whatever, every time I scroll and I reach a new category, um, you've kind of reset the timer on my attention span. And um, the one thing you might think about doing, Vanessa, is just have a visual that clearly articulates the shift in product type um, and what that'll do is, is kind of amplify the effect that I just provided even further. One of the disadvantages you're going to have, these might throw some flags for Google too. There's nothing wrong with them. They're beautiful, but they're just a little risque. So we'll have to figure out, you know, how we can play in that ecosystem. Um, 
you've got a ton of products, so huge product category. That's awesome. Smart shopping is going to crush it for you. Uh, my only fear for you, to be frank, is whether or not we're going to have the margins if, if this is a drop shipping scenario. If it's not, then you're going to be in really good shape. If it is, then we'll have to you know, just play the margin game, which is, will be the very first lesson on Monday, by the way. Um, let's go take a look. So I need a, a call to action on the home page. So I'm on the hero, and I just want like a shop now, view our collection. Like, tell me what you want me to do right now today, and let's go do that thing. Um, the 25% off of everything, that's a bold offer, especially, I mean, your pricing's great. You know, 20 bucks for these cardigans. If I'm going to get 25% off of that, um, uh, that's a really aggressive promotion. Uh, so good for you, too. But let's just go take a look at some of these products. So I've got our Connie jumpsuit. You need a more robust title, just FYI. Um, and I've got different sizes. I can't pick different colors, so kill the color selection if possible. Oh, it's sold out. See, now I'm frustrated because I, I, I fell in love with this thing, and I got here, and I'm like, oh, man. You know, uh, Vanessa, you're killing me. That's what I wanted. So a couple of things. If you're going to have sold out products, then uh, we need to be able to subscribe to the product, which I've got to add to wish list, but let me know. Like, hey, I'll alert you the minute this product becomes available. Um, and, and a note for everybody else, too. Take, the, take a look at this. This is the same product, this beige thing. Uh, sorry, I don't, I'm, I'm a dude. I don't know what clothes are called. But as this, but notice that it's not the exact same image. So what a lot of people are doing is they're taking this image and they're just Photoshopping the color out. But what Vanessa has is two different images, and it makes me trust her imagery more. Um, and I really love your custom imagery. If you don't have custom imagery for your product for e-commerce store, it's worth investing in because it's going to increase your click-through significantly. So if I'm on a preview page and something is sold out and I can't buy it, then you need to have like a sold out tag. It's okay to have sold out products listed because I actually think it, it sort of helps. It, it adds to a sense of urgency. But you don't want people to fall in love with something and be like, oh man, I really want that and then jump on and find out like, oh, my thing is sold out and that's the thing that I'm, I'm obsessed with. You're also, this isn't super thumb friendly from a navigation standpoint. So my ability to page through all of these images is limited by the way that this is formatted. I'm not going to ask you to go redo your entire theme because I love your website. I think it's beautiful, but just a mild, mild note for you. Um, adding to cart gives a pop-up, does not take me to the checkout page. Well done. Big, big mistake, y'all. If add to cart brings me to the checkout page, I'm a shopper. I'm adding a bunch of stuff to my shopping cart. Imagine if you're walking through Target and you throw the very first thing in your shopping cart and then somebody runs up, grabs your cart, and then sprints you to the front of the store to check out. It's the most annoying thing in the world. If somebody's in a buying mood, don't take them out of the buying mood. Um, Vanessa, for you, you got to get an about page. Where would I go for an about page? Uh, especially considering who your avatar is, people are going to want to know. I mean, you already talked about your... Um, you're given to children. Um, here we go. Uh, I mean, you already have an amazing story. Look, just reading this, this is already interesting to me. Um, so you were a model, which is super impressive. Um, yeah, I mean, gosh, Vanessa, this is, this, is put, this is front and center. I mean, this is one of the first menu options for sure. Uh, and get me a picture of you that's not surrounded by all this. Get me closer to you. So, uh, you know, make eye contact. We need to make a personal, personal connection here. If you want to shoot a video of yourself, that'd be great, too. Um, what is this? Is this different? Okay, so you've got a second store, which I imagine this is maybe like your custom items, or is this wedding only? I don't know. I bet you if I read it, it would have told me, wouldn't it? Um, this is really impressive. Vanessa, this is top notch. You've done a phenomenal job. I, I, I'd call this a uh, an academically perfect um, e-commerce store in a lot of ways. Uh, really impressive. Uh, social, are we social? Yeah, let's go take a look. What have we done here? Fake book. Um, last update was October 11th. That's not bad. Um, cool. Instagram. Sixteen hundred followers, well engaged, pretty models, Pinterest. Um, if you don't have enough pins, maybe kill Pinterest. Don't. And this is a good note for everybody else too. Don't add any social channels that you're not going to cultivate. It doesn't help you. You know, just because somebody's on Pinterest and wants you to be on Pinterest, if you're not going to actually actively 
invest in it, then it's not going to be helpful for you. Vanessa, really well done. Super excited to work with you. Uh, Andy, coming back around to you. Um, let's do this thing. And I'm going to start speeding up a little bit, y'all, with my apologies because uh, we've only got 20 minutes left before our next call. Um, so Andy's got our, our handy soap. Andy, I really liked your, your new logos, by the way. Remember to have something that's Favicon friendly. One of them, I think logo number two, had a really cool O that was a soap bubble, bubble that would have been a good Favicon. You can see what I'm saying here. This, this, your logo now isn't Favicon. That just looks like squigglies to me. I can't even tell what's going on. Um, you made the same mistake everybody else has made uh, with the interstitial. Um, but, 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 this is a great call to action. So note to everybody else. The whole sign up for our newsletter is junk. The get 15% off is a little bit better, but it's not super compelling. But here's Andy saying, hey, you want one for free? And then now obviously it's a chance to win, which is a little diluted, but I mean, you're not going to give a free one to wait to everybody. So uh, this is great, Andy. Really well done. I would just wait. You don't want an immediate pop-up. Like, Give me some time to go figure out who you are first. Um, hero image you fixed, which I really appreciate. Uh, because this is a little bit more specific. I would zoom out just a little bit though. This is maybe too close for comfort. Um, you know, we don't want to see people's pores. So like zoom out so I can see the product. Like you're not selling the soap, you're selling the dispenser. Um, let's make sure that I can see the text too. It's sort of blending in here a little bit. Um, better cleaning for a better life. I like this title, well done. Uh, touchless soap dispenser, highest grade materials, quality of cleaning. Cool, this is, this is story brandable. Um, let's go shop now. Uh, fair discount, save eight bucks, good reviews, robust title, the handy soap dispenser, touchless sensor activated, modern sleep design, 2020. So this is a good title. It's a little repetitive, but that's okay. I'd rather have repetitive, but for some reason I can't highlight the text, which means it might not be readable. So if text isn't readable, then Google can't see it. Um, so just, and now that might just be the overlay. That could be the theme, but just make sure this is text. Um, these verified purchase plugins, I, I don't hate them, but be careful because some people can look at it as like a little bit like, you know, um, a little too salesy. Uh, I like that your product image changes with the selection. A uh, note for everybody, if you've got multiple options, you know, sometimes it's hard. If you have, you know, 50 different sizes and colors, then you can't make a change. But what, what Andy's done here, I, I think is, is really well done. Um, you know, we're, we're, we're getting to see what the different size uh, looks like uh, up in the quantity. Now, Andy, you can, because you're single SKU, I don't think you need add to cart necessarily. I think you can have by now. Although maybe I want to buy different sizes. So ignore what I just said. Um, we've got our 15% off sale ending soon. That's okay. Love these badges. So going back to whoever I was talking to about icons, I think that was Amar. This is good iconography which I know I'm mispronouncing that word, but you know what I'm saying. Like, look what Andy's done here. Uh, these aren't even, I, you know, I bet you Andy, you probably made these, but it just makes me feel like I trust you more. Like somebody, a third party with a badge has come through and said like, here's my stamp of approval. Um, I, I like the d delineation here in the text. The page design looks way better, by the way, better use of space. Um, here's a ton of really good social proof. And you all social proof for e-commerce. That's the, that's the name of the game. Um, you've got a good brand for, for brandability. I like the new brands better. Um, looks like you're, you're branding yourself here too, if that's not incorrect. What, what is this link to? Nothing. Uh, get yourself an about page, Andy, if there's a good one for you to get. Um, you're a single SKU, so you might run into some of the same issues that other people ran into. But um, Oh, here we go. More social proof. This is awesome. And y'all, instead of just like scrolling social proof, because I'm not going to sit here and scroll, it's really cool if it's like, here's a testimonial, scroll down. Here's a testimonial, scroll down. Here's a testimonial. This is a compelling image. This appeals to the left brain nerd in me. Um, gosh, doesn't that just freak you out? Unwashed, 30 second wash. Uh, love this, Andy, really well done. This is great, IP67 industrial grade waterproof technology. I don't know what IP67 is, but immediately I'm like, oh, this is a better uh, hand washer thinger than anybody else's because they're not IP67. You know, this is like MI6, NASA grade, somebody stamped it and proved it. So. Anytime you have that, that level of kind of like, you know, this is not just social proof. It's kind of like, um, like certified industrialized proof. I like that you've increased the size of your little chart there. Why did I just lose continuity? What happened? Oh, when I click it, it brings me to the product. Don't do that. Don't link anything to the product that doesn't let me know it's going to go to the product. I assumed it was going to expand the size of this image. Um, quality of products, honest prices. I like that tagline. You're really good with language here, Andy. Well done. Subscribe for important updates. Now you had a better one. Go back to that you want one for free thing. 
Um, really well done. Really well done, man. Uh, uh, awesome job. And just so y'all know, I gave Andy a bunch of oh, free shipping and free returns. Boom! That's great. Good use of that real estate. Free shipping and free returns. That's all I want to see in here. Like two of my biggest objections right out of the gate as a customer, Andy just hurdled. Um, so so love that. Love seeing that. Uh, let's take a look. Who else do we got? Darius is saying uh, it's aimed at gamers in their room. Thanks for letting me know. Amar is saying uh, thanks for the feedback. Awesome. Um, Darius is asking me to review the other store. Yeah, Darius, happy to if I have the time, drop it into the chat. I'm on to Haley. Haley, let's take a look at what we're working with. If I'm saying everybody's name right, by the way, if I'm mispronouncing your name, I'm so sorry. I've got a unique name too, so I, I know the struggle. Um, all right. I don't dislike the mobile first paradigm that we've got here inside of the theme, but not having access to the menu from a desktop perspective can be tough. Most of your traffic is going to be mobile, so I'm not going to tell you to go rebuild your theme, but just know um, that there is a, a, a mild issue there in terms of getting people to click around. Love your logo, really identifiable. I think it might need to be against more of a stark white background. I actually normally like these full screen type approaches, but the logo is so unique and it's, it's actually really busy. Like there's a lot going on here that um, we want the logo to, to stand alone. You know, you've got a busy logo against a busy background, which kind of cancels them both out. I also like the logo with the circle and I think that should be your favicon because if, you know, now I'm maintaining continuity in my display advertising. I can't read this. I don't know what it says. And so I don't know what you are. And that's the other issue that you're going to run into, uh, Haley, is I don't, I don't yet know what this site is. And I'm, you know, confused mind says no. Statistically, you have seven seconds before somebody decides whether or not to bounce. And so you want to give them a very clear understanding of who you are. Sozo Handcrafted Creations. Jewelry. Got it. I need pictures of jewelry. Um, and what you have here are pictures of stone. And they're, it's beautiful stone. But I, this should be a picture of an earring. This should be a picture of a bracelet, picture of a necklace, picture of rings. Um, we need to communicate with people on a very, very simple level. Don't make any assumptions. Um, and, and everybody's visual creatures. Uh, these are Your products are stunningly beautiful. I love what you have here. I like that you get right into your product catalog. That's great. Um, the ring sizer, by the way, this is a good thing. Now, I'm not telling you to do this because I don't know what your financial situation is like. But this is a good thing to give away for free. You pay, you know, I don't know what your cost is on a ring sizer, but you could send this in an envelope with a normal postage stamp. But what's nice about it is anytime you give somebody something for free that you have to ship to them, you now get all of their information, name, phone number, email address, physical address, etc. And it's the best list building tool you could possibly have. So using this as a potential lead magnet, it's a, it's a good, um, you know, primary call to action. It's, it kind of lets them know that you care that they're going to get the proper size. And then once they have your ring sizer, they're going to want to buy your rings because your ring sizer, of course, is customized to your rings and the ring sizes. So now you've kind of like armed them. You know, it's, it's Jeff Bezos's pay me to pay me type scenario where um, they are going to keep coming back to you because they have your particular product. Um, and then what's cool, too, is when you when you send them the ring sizer, what I would recommend doing is including a, a coupon code or a landing page or a link where they can go and send friends and family the same ring sizer. And now, you know, they buy one for their sister and it, you have this whole like, you know, uh, kind of fun gifting tool where sister gets a ring sizer um, standalone and then she gets to size the ring and then go pick up the ring that she likes the most. And it, it's kind of like a more fun way of giving a gift card because a gift card is so impersonal. But a gift card with a ring sizer, that's a gift, you know, like you've actually given somebody something. Um, really like your products, like I said. Uh, why, am, why, why did this change? Oh, because we got a scrolling banner. To kill the scrolling banner. There's something called banner blindness. People don't like scrolling banners. They break, break continuity, and these don't have a message. So what I need here is I need a personal message from you about your jewelry, why you create what you create, who it's for, what it's meant to inspire in people. And Shop Now is an okay CTA, but if there's something more personal to add, then do that. Um, and Shop Now, maybe because you have low SKUs, just bring me to a, 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 your full catalog. Where's catalog? Oh, I guess this is it. Now, give me a catalog that's got everything. So like a full collections. Shop now should go to, I wish I had a, what if I do this? No, that's not going to do either. Shop now should go to something that has all of your products that I can filter myself. Because you have so many beautiful things and it's browsable. These are, you know, not, I wouldn't call them impulse buys, but the type of things that I want to see everything that you provide. And you're sending me down these funnels that I have to back out of in order to view other products. Um, let's take a look. 
Uh, the product is beautiful, but I can't see it. So I don't really know what this is. This is washed out. Um, that looks a little bit better. That looks better. I like the focus, the depth of field. Whoever did the photography there did a good job, so I can actually see the, the product now a little bit better. Um, I don't like that I'm scrolling to see it, though. I want to be able to page through. Uh, the text is kind of hard to read. Not a huge deal. White cat's eyes, everyday bracelet. More robust title here, of course, like I'm telling everybody. Make sure that it's, you know, sterling silver, 14 karat, whatever, whatever. I'm not a jewelry guy, as you can tell. Um, I like the handmade with love, and we don't want to prioritize that. Uh, G Plus doesn't exist anymore, so you'll want to kill it because that'll just sort of highlight, you know, maybe the age of the site. Add to cart brings me to checkout. We don't want to do that. So your add to cart should just add it to the cart. Give me a visual confirmation that that's happened, but leave me on the site so that I can continue shopping, especially for something like jewelry. People are going to buy more than one thing if you let them. Um, these are hard to read. Uh, let's take a look at your about. Love that we got a picture of you. This is great. Great, 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 great. Um, instant connection. Um, the the text again here is hard to read. People like black text on a white background, even if they don't think they do. I know that yours probably looks better, but just in terms of CRO, they're going to engage more if you're you're giving them you know what we're used to reading. Um, I like that you're saying I instead of the we and the us. Um, I like your about page. I'd like to see a little bit more thumb friendly titles and bullet points and then start talking about what your jewelry is. Well, no, I'm going to stop. I'm not going to tell you what to talk about. Excuse me. Forgive me for that. I'm not a branding person. Um, I was going to get a little bullish. Custom jewelry inquiry. Love that you have this. This could be something we prioritize inside of your paid advertising. Um, jewelry care. This is a great lead magnet, by the way, if you wanted to send somebody like a, a downloadable PDF on how to care for, for high end jewelry, that type of thing. Um, you've done a great job. Haley, really well, really well done. Uh, I really like your products. Um, Besh, my boy Besh. Uh, just so you all know, Besh is actually a student of mine inside uh, the Digital Market Elite program. So I appreciate you being here, Besh. Uh, muscle car fan, a community of muscle car enthusiasts. So everybody knows this is linear and transparent, and I like it. I like coming right out and saying, hey, here's where we are. So I think this is well done. I don't love the logo though. This is going to be tough to brand around. I can kind of. It looks like there's just two doors open. If I'm if I'm correct, um, but I'd like to maybe see something a little bit more Fabicon friendly, icon friendly, and, and then um, branding friendly. Uh, which T-shirt is your favorite? So this is a note too. Really good marketing is asking questions. People can't help but answer questions when they're asked. And when you read a question, you're asking it to yourself in, in your head. So if I say which T-shirt is your favorite, even if I don't like them, I now have to answer. Well, I guess I kind of like this one. I can't see your shirts is the problem. So you have too many here in the feed. I would increase the size of the icons um, so that I can see more about what's going on. And uh, I've got books and shirts. And I think that the break, we need to split these product types up. You're selling digital products and physical products. And it kind of breaks continuity for me a little bit. It makes me wonder sort of where I am and what I've landed on. Um, I'm also having a tough time reading some of what you have going. And uh, it's going to be important for you to know. Sorry, somebody just barged into my office. That was weird. Um, I can't. I can't. Like, I can't read what this says. So even if this is funny or cute, and I bet you it is, I don't really know what this product is. So I, I, I maybe start zooming in on the, the icons of the shirt. You know, I mean, we know they're t-shirts. All we're doing here is t-shirts. So like, start letting people know um, what is it the shirt has. Uh, let's go to your shopping cart. Do you have an about? About Pat. Yep. Uh, let's get a picture of Pat here. Let's uh, personal connection. Um, make this text a little bit more thumb friendly too. Muscle car videos. I'm not sure why I care about this just yet, unless you tell me that it's just part of like the forum of the muscle car fan. Oh yeah, okay. I'm on the shop for the muscle car fan. So what you just did there though is we lost all the traffic to our shopping cart. So traffic is expensive. You paid Google to send a bunch of people here and then said, hey, why don't you just go get lost down a rabbit hole for a couple hours? Um, at a minimum, just have this open in a new tab. Um, and it doesn't look like we have any news, so kill that. Uh, Pat finds muscle cars. This looks like kind of like a blog. Uh, I might deprioritize that as well. We want people to buy. Uh, let's go to our shopping cart. So looking at the product, good cars. Get you from point A to point B, great cars. Let's get you in trouble. That's cute. 
Um, okay, so the same note that I have for everybody else. If you're just Photoshopping the colors out, try to find a way to change the t-shirt image so it actually looks like it's the real shirt. I know that y'all, I keep harping on this. I know it sounds like a small thing. It's huge. Go install Hotjar True Conversion or Lucky Orange and watch people browse around and you'll start seeing some of what I'm telling you. I only know this because we've done, you know, hundreds of websites. Um, I like that the color changes with the selection. Well done. Uh, add to cart brings me to checkout. Catastrophic error. Add to cart should just add to cart, but allow me to continue to browse. Um, free shipping on orders of $50. That should be prioritized information up here. Um, this isn't as important to me right now. This is, I, I'm not telling you this is a bad tagline, by the way. This is a good tagline for like the hero image of your website, but people expect in this top banner and anything in the right column, they expect sort of like, you know, specialized sales information. But what you've got here is too much. Free shipping on uh, orders over $50. Otherwise, $4 shipping on any number of t-shirts, US only. Shipping on all international orders is $9. There's a lot there for me, you know, like I'm doing my taxes now in terms of what I have to understand in order to buy from you. So I'd go free shipping on orders over $50 and then, you know, make these bullet points at least, format it so it kind of helps me understand like US orders, colon, shipping. International orders, colon, shipping. Um, if I check out, what happens? Uh, brings me to standard checkout page with a coupon code. Kill the coupon code if you don't use it. Um, yeah, I hope that was helpful, Vash, and not rude. I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to hurt your feelings. Um, let's take a look at Darius. Has another one. I'm gonna speed through this one, Darius. Sorry, I only got two minutes left. Um, let me actually just go email my appointment and let him know I'm running late. Well, maybe I can't do that. Um, beautiful site. Love the brand here, Darius, already right out of the gate, like uh, maintaining continuity with the colors. I really like the model that you've chosen. She's making eye contact. I mentioned earlier, maybe a dopamine, dopamine hit. Mid-season sale up to 70% off shop now. That's good. 70% um, off sales always scare me because people tend not to take those seriously, but if it's in the fashion world, there it happens all the time, so you're in good shape. Uh, I like this recently viewed bubble, but only if there is something that has been recently viewed. Um, more natural hairline, lace part wigs. So kill the hero image and just go with the one, the one image that's the most compelling, and it's this one. Um, and honestly, it's her. I really like her. Um, uh, but we need a we need a call to action. It, it's shop now. So like, get me to whatever it is that I need to buy in order to look like her. Um, and so I click on that, and it just refreshes. So get me to shop now. Get me to your collection. Inside of your collection, hang tight. There are no products in this collection. I, and I think what you're going to tell me is this just isn't, isn't done yet, so maybe I'll stop the critique. But look at this. Free shipping on all orders, no minimum purchase. That's a really good note for this, too. How do I buy? Let's go look at your shopping cart. Yeah, okay. So I'm just assuming this isn't done, Darius, but I like the look and feel of what you got. I think it looks really good. Um, Ellen. Uh, Ellen, what I'm going to do for you, because I'm out of time, is I'm gonna do a Loom video and I'll post it inside of the group um, before EOD today. Wait, did I already do yours? Oh no, I didn't. I just remember looking at this earlier. I love your site, Ellen. I think you've done such a good job. I especially love this hero image of these little kiddos. Um, you gotta kill your interstitial here, um, this little pop-up. But uh, I'm gonna get you a, 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 a Loom video overview, Ellen, which we actually stopped doing last week, but you lucked out because I don't want you to feel like you got shortchanged. For everybody else, I hope this was helpful. Uh, I'd love your feedback for me. Help improve me as a coach. What did you agree with? What did you disagree with? What would you like to see more of? Um, and don't forget, we are starting our training Monday. Monday, 10 a.m. Pacific. Uh, show up in the group. We'll be posting a link to, to the webinar so you can, you can um, join and ask questions. And be ready to rock. This is live. It's interactive. I want you to be building your ad campaign as we go. Because um, you're going to get more out of it that way. Don't worry about taking notes. We'll have somebody taking notes for you, sharing the notes at the end of the class, and sharing the recording. Your job isn't to take notes. It's to do. You're going to learn more when you do. Um, you, you learn more by doing. And I know we all already know that. Um, so anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll try to squeeze another one of these if I can tomorrow. I can't make any promises because my schedule is jam-packed. But uh, it'll be a little ad hoc. Um, but uh, also get to know each other a little bit more too. Not everybody's introducing themselves. And, uh, you know, we've got some wallflowers, which isn't uncommon. But y'all, we have almost 100 people in this group, or we will before the, the, the challenge closes. There's a mastermind here that you get to take advantage of. There are people that have done things that you need to do, that have solved problems that you need to solve, that have answered questions that you need to answer, and vice versa, people that you can help. 
and uh, it only makes sense for us to take advantage of each other's expertise. So share your store, share your story, share your goals, go live, let people see your face and hear your voice. Let's build some relationships. Let's make this group something that has equity in it that we can continue drawing upon. Um, you know, we, we all stand to profit from that. So anyway, really appreciate y'all's trust. Um, can't wait to work with you and uh, I'll be in touch. Thanks for watching.